As a product of the public school system and a product of the music program from elementary to high school, I felt compelled to do something that would give back to these programs. Over the years, we've seen a drastic decrease in funding and buy-in from the people of this territory for our arts programs. I came through Mr. Francis at LF Muller School, Mr. Corbett and Mr. Wang Harrigan at Cancrain, and Georgia Francis at CAHS. I was the drum major of the marching band, a member of the cultural ensemble, a member of the symphonic band and jazz band. I was also a state band player in the Rising Stars U2 Orchestra. So I fully understand the benefits of participating in the arts program. Statistics have shown that when our students participate in arts, in music, they do better academically and these programs do serve as an academic intervention to our students. Hence, it's imperative for us to continue to fund these programs and make sure that the arts, the music, don't die. This office has partnered with the Department of Education to come up with what is called Sounds of the Virgin Isles, a full celebration of Virgin Islands music, dance, food, drink, local cuisine, as we celebrate Virgin Islands History Month, the month of March. To the Department of Education, we paid for the fort. We've dealt with all the logistics, making sure that we um, dress the kids in the uh, proper madras, um, the boys and the girls. We are, we've lobbied um, on behalf of the music programs. We've asked people to donate to CFBI, the account that education has that is strictly for the music program and the arts. What we've basically done is, we have done a logistical part of Sounds of the Virgin Isles while our students and our public education teachers do basically all the hard work. So I must commend Ms. Dionne Donadell, Mr. Nibs, Mone Davis, Ruben Daniel, Shamoy Rogers, and everyone else who's who, who taking part, who has taken part in making sure that this production really comes out. The concert promises to be exciting. From six to seven, we have the auction, the silent auction, and we can purchase arts, you receive local food and drinks. There's a cash bar and at seven o'clock, we go straight into our concert. Our concert is like a musical and it should flow. This year's honoree is Lorna Freeman. Um, we, there's a saying like, you know, give me my flowers while I'm alive. And her contribution to Virgin Islands music, um, her contribution to this territory, her selflessness, um, she is the voice of the Virgin Islands, and it is no other fitting way than to honor her in our first concert. This is an annual event, and this will be our major event as we attempt to revive and fund the arts and music in our public education system. So Ms. Freeman, you are well deserving of your accolades, and I want to invite the community to come out to purchase a ticket, to start by the fort on March 28, 6 p.m. It's totally VI driven, VI made, VI nice. <laughs>